fragments of intense action. Sculptures that defy gravity. These were the trademarks of Western artist Frederick Remington. By 1895, Remington had already become a well-known artist, making a lucrative career from selling his paintings and illustrations of the Old West. But sculpting wasn't on his radar. He had never tried it before and considered it a completely separate art than what he was already doing. But a chance remark from a friend convinced him to give it a shot. Naturally gifted as an artist, Remington had already developed a 360 degree sense of vision for his subjects, and he found he had an amplitude for sculpting. His very first attempt at sculpture was this model, the Bronco Buster. Though initially met with mixed reviews from art critics, the bronze sculpture was a huge commercial success and became a popular image of the American West. It even made its way into the highest office in the nation. Having the horse practically suspended in mid-air would become a characteristic of the majority of Remington sculptures. In fact, in one of his most famous works, Coming Through the Rye, only six of the horse's 16 hooves are touching the ground. You can see many of Remington's pieces of work here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. And you can pick up a replica of one of his bronzes at the museum store. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check our website at nationalcowboymuseum.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching, folks.